Hello guys, Nuss is like here, and welcome to FIFA 16 at last, I'm doing a video on it. And what better way to start with a starter squad build, you know? Everyone loves starter squ squad builders, everyone loves, loves those cheap, overpowered teams that you can get for less than 5k. I wouldn't say this team is overpowered as, as such, but I would just say it's a really good starter team that gets you cheap, get, it can get you winning, get you building up players. And yeah, this team, it'll cost you about, I think... If you look at the price of the players and add it up, I don't actually know, but I think it's around 5 or 6k. But this team, it's really good. It's just a quality team to get you started, especially if you don't have many coins. You're not like a YouTuber that's made of money and can um, like open up, open packs over and over. But anyway, that's enough rambling. Let's actually get into the team and let's just show you the players that you can pick up for a bargain, really. Let's show you some non-rare beasts because this team is all non-rare. Most of the players in it are absolutely awesome we're gonna start with goalkeeper adrian here uh obviously we had a team season last year wasn't i didn't think it was that good he'll cost you 850 coins for an all stats above 70 goalkeeper and 85 reflexes and not on a non-rare keeper it's pretty good six foot two as well so it's not like he's a midget keeper and he's not like he's lacina triore playing goal either he is he'll do you very solid in your bpl teams for a, go for a goalkeeper under 1k mind you it, if this fever's the I haven't played this FIFA too much, but if it's anything the same as last year, it won't really matter what goalkeeper you have, just as long as they're like gold and decent and have all stats that are decent pretty much. And Adrian has that. It, it Less than a 1k as well is a bargain for a guy this good. Moving on to, I don't know which one will come first, because I, I, I don't want to show you guys the squad, so we're just going to go change play and... and uh, see who comes up. We're going to go with Cedric, who's the right back. Um, You could... For right back, you could choose Joel Ward or um, uh, this guy that, that's going through my head or I can't remember. You could choose this guy or Joel Ward, really. Those two ones. And I think there's one more that I'm not thinking of right now. Yanma, that's the one. Um, yeah, but Yanma, I think is, he's a bit expensive because he's rare and rare cards have more value at the start, obviously. Cedric, he cost me 1.8 coins. So, 1.8 coins? What, what is that? 1,800 coins. I may have lied a bit and said... This team won't cost you about 6k, actually, looking at it now. Probably more about 10, I reckon, it will cost. But, honestly, once you play a few games, maybe even unlock a coin bonus, you'll be able to afford this really good cheap team in no time at all. Cedric, again, he's nearly got all stats above 70. And for 1.8k, you know, that is pretty damn good value. 68 shots there. You do want... My opinion on right-backs is you do want them going forward and shooting. But... You don't really want... Uh, you, well, you want as high as shots as possible, obviously. But you don't need, like, really high shots. Cedric has all the qualities of a good right-back, really. He's good, got good pace, good dribbling. He's not, like, as I'm going to say now, he's not exceedingly fast. He's not exceedingly defensive. He, he can't... He's, no, he's not Lionel Messi and he can't just run to the other end of the pitch and floor Jerome Boateng while he's at it. He's got decent passing, decent physical, so he can't just get pushed off the ball. He's just a really good all-around right-back, Cedric. He really is. And now we're going to go on to the first centre-back, I do believe, which is Marek Muniz. I think that's how you say his name. Um, I think he was a right-back last year. And he was pretty terrible. No one would go near him because he has under 70 pace. Uh, really, the only... Th as you can see... Decent. The only dampener I can really say about him, the only um, thing that I don't really like about him, is that he is five foot ten, and I think that's a bit small for centre back on this FIFA, especially as I think both centre backs go up for corners, and this guy always wins them instead of my next centre back, who's really tall. Anyway, Mooney Acer, all the qualities of great. De Sorry, all the qualities of great defensive player. 69 pace, which is more than enough on this P FIFA. Shut up. Which is more than enough on this FIFA. Um, really, more than f 60 is more than, is just enough on this FIFA. Because you have heard it probably if you've had it. Pace doesn't really matter, so there's no point really going... Well, it does, obviously. It does matter a bit, because, yeah, pace is always overpowered on FIFA. But... It doesn't matter as much. You can't really just lob through ball to someone like Doombia and you know they'll latch onto it and score. So someone like Mooney Acer will catch on to that and he will block them off. Anyway, he's just got really good all-around stats, really, for a defence. He can pass, he can run, he can defend, he can... His physical is a bit bad for a defender. Like, I don't know I don't know how strong he is. He, the one bad thing about this defence is that both centre-backs are left-footers. So it, that does make it just a bit awkward. Um... Yeah, he has three star weak foot as well. It's pretty good. And then now we move on to Kevin Vimmer. For 900 coins, this guy is an absolute steal. Six foot two, 70 pace. 
79 defending. He is just an, as I said before, just a complete machine. Six foot two. Th this is the other guy. He makes up for uh, Munier's smallness, you could say. And he's just an absolute beast. There's no other way to put it. He completely destroys everyone. He just towers above them and just goes elbow in the face. Except he doesn't, because otherwise he'd be off the pitch. Uh, I've played 13 games with him. He's pretty good. And I don't understand why this guy isn't what, worth more, especially with those stats. And he's... He's really not that bad. He can keep up. He can tackle. He can... That's all you really want from a defender anyway. But he can... He's just so good, Kevin Wimmer. He's just... He's such a beast, cheap centre-back. Medium, medium uh, work rate as well. Yeah, pretty good. And I think I'm done talking about him. Jordan Marby last year obviously was... I think he was uh, like one of those awesome silvers. Just 950 coins. Um... Yeah, he's pretty much got the same stats as Cedric, except with one more shooting, 69, 68, fi passing, 68, physical. Could expect a bit more from a left back, because I like, especially in this formation that I'm playing, 4 3 one, two. You um, want them going forward, especially to help the midfield going forward. Then maybe the midfield pushes forward, playing a little ball, curve shots, because they're insane on this game if you haven't tried them. And then goal, pretty much. Amavi, though, he's a really solid left back for 950 coins. Three star weak foot, three star skills. Are always nice to have 78 pace. He's just an all around solid cheap right back again, m like most of the players in this team. Moving on, I don't know which sentiment is going to come up next. We go with uh, Marco van Hinkel. Four star weak footer. He's the left sided player on this team, just everyone's right footers. Uh, again, he's just. Everyone in this midfield has pretty much the same stats. J they're just 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, and maybe a bit lower on the defending. Because, uh, again, I like. My, the defense is really strong and it can hold its own, you know. And I like my midfield going forward it's a r this midfield it's really good at scoring as well because the guy that's next he's a boy has he improved on his shooting but again these guys most of these guys will just hang around on the edge of the area wait for that shot and on this game more often than not you do score from the edge of the area uh and as well at the end of the at the end of this video i will go da down to the bottom because there's one guy i really need to mention on the bench holy he's six foot one i didn't realize that jeez a six foot one guy with most stats above 70 steel that's what i call it right moving on to emery chan he's injured at the moment but this guy he's 64 shooting you look at that and be like nah he, he, he surely can't score screamers from about 25 yards out into the top corner but he can he can that just shows how much uh, no what i'm saying how overpowered curve shots are in this game he's only 21 as well great prospect for liverpool in the future i think jürgen klopp's gonna get the absolute best out of him if you guys didn't know i'm a liverpool fan 75 pace he's the um center midfielder central central yeah central cent i can't even say that central center midfielder in this game like in this formation and because it's 4 3 2 1 2 uh, you know how the middle guy sits back a bit. This is what Emery Chan does best. 72 f defending. He just sits in that pocket, just wins everything, and then he can s start an attack with a ball up to one of the, the cam or the two strikers, who will then hopefully go on to score because they're really, really awesome. Four star weak foot, three star skills. Cost one of the more expensive players in this team at 1.2k, but again, he's just an absolute steal for that much. He sh really should be going for more, and you could really play him at centre back. Like, I've. When um, Munier's or Wim has been injured, I've used him there and he's done a damn good job, I'll tell you that. Um, yeah, he's six, he's six foot two, he's just an all around beast, to be honest. Moving on to Jordan Veritu. Like, you wouldn't, I didn't think this guy would be that good, to be honest, uh, when I signed him. I was just looking for a third centre midfielder. I did have Besic in there before, but he was absolutely dire, to be honest. Couldn't shoot, couldn't, he, like, he could run, but then he'd have the stamina like a wounded puppy or something and just die and it would be really really sad because i'd have to bring on some sort of broad and sentiment but anyway there is two he's again just like um what's his name van hinkle except he's a bit smaller got high defensive work rate and he's 450 coins well both of these both of the two midfields on the left and right are really good cheap center backs and they won't even cost you a k for both of them how good is that three star weak foot three star skills 68 pace 75 dribbling he's just all of his stats are just around that 70s area He's nothing special, but at the end of the day, starter teams are all about just building the team up, getting a good, solid team. You don't want anything too extravagant, or, well, you do actually if you have the coins. But this team is just good and solid, and it'll get you winning games, it'll get your game experience up, and I'm just rambling now and I should stop. Um, next up, we have, in my opinion, the best player in this team, Jason Punchin. What an absolute don this guy is. There is just... He's, he's a machine. I've used that expression a lot. 
but he is just an absolute machine. You can see by all his stats there, 78 pace, 78 dribbling, 75 shots, 75 passing. He's always on the edge of the box waiting for that shot into the far corner. And 99% of the time, he will make that shot into the far corner. And he can just do anything except really defend. He's not... He's not like Bernard and you literally just put a finger... No, that sounds really weird. He, he's not like Bernard and you literally just go poke. And he's just, and he's just like, don't hurt me! This guy, he'll, he'll maintain possession of the wall. He'll pass. He'll shoot. His work rates are a bit... His work rates are a bit dodgy. 650 coins as well. Three star skills. He's just really, really good, you know. Now moving on to the two strikers. You guys might have been able to guess what, who one of them is. He's a big thing at the start of FIFA. Don't know if it's going to come on to him right away, but it is. Yep. There he is, Saido Berahino. A lot of controversy with him at West Brom recently, but, um, yeah, he's a really good player on this free four-star weak foot. It's always handy having a play, player with four-star weak foot, because then shoot on both foot, especially with curve. Go, uh, they can't, can't really force you onto a weak foot, making it, like, harder for you to shoot. He's always there as well. He's, and the thing that I like about him most in this formation is he's always making runs around the outside of the opponent's defence. And, again, most of the time, he will finish side of Berahino. Isn't that strong? Co again, one more expensive plays in this team, 1.1k. Uh, and 5'11", you know, it's not bad for heading. Uh, 78 shots could be better, but, you know, it, for a non rest striker, that's alright, I suppose. 57 passing could be improved. But, again, just a really, really good striker. Fifth. His goals to game ratio for me, as you can see there, is alright. He, he's got a few assists as well, 10, 10 and 15. Um, yeah, it's, that's side of Berahino for you. He's pretty good. And then moving on to the last player in this team, that is Shane Long. I might as well go out and show of, um, all the player stats and show you how it looks. But Shane Long, again, he he has done nothing for me. And I'm thinking about putting the guy on the bench, um, who I'm just going to show you in a bit. He, he I, I have this motto on FIFA 16, which is back Shane Long or whatever. Because he's just... He just doesn't finish for me. He's got high, high work rates, 5 foot 11, 81 physical, 84 pace. He looks a really good striker, but he's just done nothing for me, and he's been really disappointing. I'm sure it'll come at some point, two goals in nine games. You know, it could be better. I wouldn't... At the moment, I wouldn't honestly recommend this guy, because he's so dodgy. Like, he could... <coughs> Jeez, sorry, got a cough. Just run through the entire team and then just put an open goal wide or he could just literally just pick up the ball 30 yards out and bang it in the top corner that's Shane Long for you three star weak foot three star skills mo like most of the attacking players in this team oh my days I've rambled so much I need to stop but after I have described Alessandri I don't know, even know how you pronounce his name Alessandro Diamanti what an absolute this guy I got him in my start pack team and you just can't ask for anything better. You really can't. 75 rated centre forward. It's the pace is lacking on him. 80 dribbling. More than enough for a non-rare. For a non-rare for me. From a non-rare when you start a back team. 71 shots again could be improved. But his left foot is like Hulk. Except it's not. It's more It's more finesse with him. Um, yeah, I, I just noticed that as well. Force our skills. 5 foot 11 again. Not bad for heading. Um... I don't know how much he, I don't know how much it costs. He can pass as well, so that's pretty good. He's just an all-around machine, this guy. He's always there as well. And he's so easy to pick up. He's probably like, I don't even know how easy he is to pick up. He'll, he'll probably be 450 coins or whatever. And you can just go out, buy him, and you'll have a really quality cam set for it. He can play anywhere in attacking role. And he's a free kick, so like, take him 25 yards out or whatever. And he'll score them all day long. I think he's got like 81 power, 82... See, he's just an all-around Don again, like most of the players in this team. If you guys wanted to see the team one more time, here it is. But I know I've rambled a lot. I do when I do squad build builders. I can't help it. That's just that's just my nature, to be honest. And if you did enjoy this video and want more squad builders, because I don't have many coins, like more stars of squad builders, more maybe different leagues, then make sure you smash the like button and like subscribe if you're new. And I will see you all 